everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Indie Zombie Reviews. Today, I will be taking a look at Arkita Series 001, Jump. Arkito Series 01, Jump, is a, as you can see, it's a retro-style platform game. It goes for about $3 on Xbox Live Indie Network. It's also available on the PlayStation Network. As you can see as the game goes along, it begins pretty simple enough with little tutorials and such showing you what you need to do. The game storyline is that Krabs built a robot that plants bombs all over the place. So as you progress from level to level, you have to grab a certain number of bombs and then get to the exit. And along the way you can collect gems, coins that really serve no purpose really. You also can collect knives that you can use to kill other enemies. And if you don't use said knives, you can still carry them on with you onto next levels. You can also stack them with additional knives that you pick up. An odd thing is, is that when you're standing still, you can't use the knife. You have to be in motion when you use it. So that's an odd little something to bear in mind. Here's something else that's interesting. As the game progresses on in difficulty, you are introduced to brand new challenges like longer jumps and breakaway platforms, platforms that appear and reappear and such, and more enemies, more, more random enemies, and such as the difficulty goes on. But something of interest that I noticed, the breakable platforms that you see here, you know how typically, say, in any other platforming style game or a game that has platforming at all, when you stand on a breakaway platform, it breaks beneath your feet and then you fall. Well, in this game's case, as I noticed on my second or third playthrough of it, you can stand on the breakable platform for as long as you want. It only breaks away after you've stepped away from it. So after I realized that, a lot of the challenge for some of the levels did kind of lower a little bit once I realized that, especially on a level that featured the breakaway platforms and the reappearing and disappearing platforms as well. All you really have to do is just stand on the breakaway platforms, again, for as long as you want, and just make your timings right and you can make it. The game goes up to about 30 levels and again the difficulty does increase as it goes but it's all on you it's all on the controls and the controls here are very good you have your basic forward and backward direction and such and then you have your jumps and your jumps feel accurate you can actually measure by how lightly or how hard you press the jump button you have control over your character so any death or any failure is all on you. It's not on the controller, it's not on the game. It's on you. And challenge feels very solid. This game, every time I died in a level, I just wanted to continue. And you can stack additional lives, and that is one thing you are definitely going to want to do if you want to last and survive all throughout this game, because there are no save features or save states. You have to beat this game in one single sitting. If you die, you start all the way back at level 1. And there are only 30 levels to this game, so once you've played through up to about 20, you know what to expect, but the difficulty does ramp up again as the levels progress and progress, all the way up to the final level, level 30. You'd think there'd be an epic boss fight. The boss is there. And he does certainly present a challenge. You don't have to fight him, you just have to collect all the bombs and then leave. What's interesting as part of the challenge is that some of the bombs that are around him, he will fire projectiles at you that will follow you all throughout that area of the stage. Once you've beaten that, you will unlock a challenge mode that will allow you to, I guess, unlock an additional mode of play once you have re-beaten the other 30 levels, but how you beat it is you have to recollect all of the coins from every single level. And to be honest, as part of the review, I really didn't feel like doing go I really didn't feel like going through all of that again. I suppose it could be I suppose I suppose it could make for an interesting challenge, but that was something I just didn't feel like doing again. 
Nonetheless, though, this was a very enjoyable game. Okay, time for a rating. Arkita Series 01 Jump gets an 8 out of 10. This game is absolutely superb. It only goes for $3 off of the Xbox Live Indie Network. I'm not exactly sure how much it is on the PlayStation Network. It probably goes for about $5 or maybe even a little bit more. This game, again, you can beat it in half hour to an hour if you haven't already pl played through it before and don't really know what's coming. The game is relatively challenging and does pick up quite a bit by about level 20. And it does have some replay value with that extra added challenge mode, and I would certainly say that it's worth it. So be sure to check out the demo if you already have any interest for it. Well, until then, I hope that you guys enjoyed. This is Indie Zombie Reviews. See you next time. Kids jump when I was enjoying playing it just for the Let's Play, and <coughs> good lord.